Hi guys, it's Michaela. So in today's video, I'm going to do a quick fire house review of Amouage. So I've only recently, I've only gotten to know more about this brand over the past, I'd say year. And I'm really liking what I've smelt so far. There's been some fragrances that I've really, really liked, some fragrances I've grown to like, some that I just, just haven't worked for me and others that I, respect the creativity but again it's just a no for me um so yeah it's been really fun getting to you know try them i've managed to even acquire a few bottles and i have quite a few samples that i've gone through and it's just helped me to make a kind of get a clearer picture of the brand so yeah as I said, quick firehouse review. I've got some categories to go through and I will just basically say which fragrances I fit, I think fit most within each of the categories that I have. So yeah, let's get into it. So first category is the fragrances that I think are most autumn, winter appropriate. And I've gone with Epic, which is a very spicy, super dry, like, very very dry woody scent perfect for the cold weather not detecting much sweetness in here at all but yeah really good one for winter and autumn and um, next i have memoir this one is so good this one's on my want list and it's been on there for a while it's a warm spicy Quite a deep scent as well, like deep smoky scent. I'd say this fragrance definitely matches the dark bottle. It's, a, it's in a black bottle with a silver cap. Definitely matches the bottle. And then third in this category of autumn winter appropriate, I've gone for interlude. Oh, this is a fragrance I can never manage to capture in words what it smells like, but the one constant that I just keep being reminded of is ink, like pen ink, ink from a pen. So it's like sweet pen ink, which sounds like such a strange description, like why would you like that? But it's good, it's so, so addictive. And there's a, there's also a smokiness running through this one as well, or is it incense? I think there's an incense note, but you definitely detect like the smell of smokiness. So it's like a sweet smoky scent. It's so beautiful, so, so good. So appropriate for colder months. Okay, and then on to the fragrances that I think are most spring, summer appropriate. I've gone for Figment. This is a very sweet floral scent, but there's definitely touches of like watery green going on in here so like the let's say the leaves and the stems of the flowers but definitely dewy definitely watery and the sweetness in here reminds me of the kind of sweetness that rhubarb has but I've look, looked at the notes and there's no rhubarb note so not sure where that's coming from strange one with this one as it starts to dry down on your skin so i think i was wearing it for about two hours and as it went into the dry down stage it got warmer on my skin and look <laughs> reading a few of the reviews a lot of people had complaints with either the overall smell of this fragrance or the dry down of this fragrance and what they were describing i kind of get on my skin but not so much so they said it kind of had like an, it took on like an anim animalic tone, not a very pleasant smell. And at that stage, if I put my nose directly to my skin, I do get this slightly odd, warm, green smell, but that's not what I smell in the air around me. So I only get a slight odd tinge purposefully sticking my nose into my skin, which I won't be doing often. And that's not the same smell that is emanating around me. So it doesn't really bother me that much. But yeah, I only have a sample of this one and it's beautiful, very spring summer appropriate. Next for spring summer, I have Love Mimosa, of course. Bright and sunny like the bottle. 
It's a very happy, sunny day fragrance. I'd go easy on the trigger with this one. In fact, with any of them, but especially this one. Um, yeah, if you keep it to minimal sprays, you get that lovely mimosa, pear, kind of slightly aquatic vibe. Oh, it is so good. There's an ever so slight powderiness to it as well. It's just such a lovely fragrance. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so next category is best all year round fragrance. And we have Love Tuberose, which is obviously a tuberose scent. It's a very thick tuberose scent. It's very sweet, bordering on gourmand, and that's thanks to the generous dose of um, whipped cream that's in here. It's just a very thick, sweet, floral scent that, again, go easy on the sprays, but can be worn all year round. Probably skip this one on the hottest days, but other than that, yeah, appropriate for whenever, really. The next one would be Lilac Love. Actually, I've chosen three in this category and they're all from the Secret Garden collection. So, next, Lilac Love. This is a lovely floral scent, like a light floral scent with a really lovely dusting of cocoa over the top. It's so nice, super, super nice. Um, and yeah, all year round. Hottest days, probably it's a one spray job, but yeah, you know, sunny, warm weather, cold weather, definitely appropriate for either. Really, really nice, well put together scent. And the third is, of course, Blossom Love. This one is a stunning, uber, uber feminine, very pretty, um, scent. Much like the bottle, it does remind me of a very pink fluffy fragrance. In the main, it's a very boozy scent, so from the amaretto that's in here, you do get some of the nuttiness coming through as well. And cherry blossom scent, very sweet scent altogether, but not overbearing. Not if you don't spray too much. If you spray too much, I think, yes, it would become very sickly and cloying on you, but just with like a normal amount of sprays, it just smells so lovely. It's just, as I said, uber feminine, suitable for any time of year. Probably in the summer, you don't want to go any more than one or two sprays. I personally didn't wear this on the hottest days this summer. I just, I couldn't face it. But for like weather like now and spring, I think is the optimum time to wear this can definitely wear this in winter um, but yeah in summer probably probably night time during the summer oh, but yeah it's such a good scent okay so now we go into the freshest smelling category and I've gone for deer oh it's so good I always say this but this reminds me of a bubble bath just you know like the bubble bath liquid that you put in the bath? <laughs> Smells like that. Oh, fresh skin, bubble bath, stunning, stunning scent. Such a clean, clean bodied scent. Really, really nice. Next I've gone for gold. Along similar lines to Dia, another very clean smelling fragrance. There is a trail of smoke running through this scent though. I'd probably say Gold to me is a bit muskier than deer as well. I can smell this kind of mineral note in here as well. And looking at the notes, I can't see what will be giving off that mineral smell, but it's not unpleasant. I really like it. It's another clean smelling musky scent. And I really like that note of um, smoke or incense that's in there as well. Really nice twist to the fragrance. And the third scent that I've put in the freshest smelling category is Lyric Man. This is a lovely musky rose scent in the main. It's another one that smells like fresh body. It's like a fresh out of the shower, scented skin kind of smell so nice oh it's so so nice 
So yeah, those are the freshest scents. Okay, so the next category is the most unisex scents. So Amouage have their catalogue of scents which usually have a male and a female counterpart, but some of them, whether you buy the male one or the female one, either gender could wear it. So in this category, I've gone for a memoir, very, very unisex scent to my nose anyway. Like I said before, it's a deep, dark, smoky vibe. Does not lean feminine at all to me. It's very much straight down the middle. If you like deep, spicy or deep, smoky scents, definitely worth trying out Memoir Woman. The next one I've gone for is Reflection Woman, which when I first tried the sample of this, I was like, oh gosh, they're giving me the men's one. I got a distinct aftershave vibe, but after going actually into the store and smelling it and reading reviews as well, other people have kind of said similar things. I don't know, there just seems to be something herbal in here. Other than that, Reflection Woman is quite a bright, clean, ever so slightly powdery scent. And the third one I've gone for is Lyric Man. Just because it is a very clean, fresh skin, lovely light rose, musky light rose. Really, really good. Anyone can wear this. Such a lovely scent. Now, next category is easiest to wear. Now, being Amouage, Amouage scents are very distinct. They, and that's why people love them. Um, have, they have lots of character, the fragrances have lots of twists and turns. Um, so, you know, for that reason, they aren't very mass appealing and they're not supposed to be very mass appealing. But with that said, I still think there are fragrances in the collection that are quite likable to most noses. So I've gone for gold, just because it's a lovely clean scent and the notes don't overpower at all. Um, sunshine, which is a lovely, soft, sweet, like mildly sweet and um, vanillic scent, but it's not boring. There is a slight interesting twist of almond and tobacco flower, but again, those notes don't overpower. It's a very overall tame scent, really, really pleasing to the nose. Um, I've also gone for both Lyric Woman and Lyric Man. Like I said, Lyric Man just because easiest for anyone to wear, very unisex, very everyday appropriate. Oh, it's just that musky rose, it's just so lovely. And Lyric Woman because this is a warm, spicy scent but it's not too spicy. As spicy scents go, it's quite tame and I think yeah, this would be appropriate for, you know, anyone to wear in a variety of situations. This doesn't have to just be your occasion wear scent, you know, it would be suitable for varying occasions. And then also Blossom Love, just where it is that lovely, sweet, feminine scent. There's no notes that, you know, stick out. All the notes are perfectly blended together. It's just overall a very pleasant smelling fragrance. And then in the same vein, I've decided on Lilac Love as well. Like who doesn't like, you know, lovely light florals and cocoa powder dusting over the top? It's just perfect. Now, last category is the most standout fragrances from Amouage, the ones that you would kind of want to wear to an event. So one such standout fragrance is definitely Lyric Woman. It's sweet, it's spicy, there's some rose, but that incense that's in there, or that smokiness that I'm getting anyway, just cuts through the sweetness of the fragrance and Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Next is Interlude Woman. This is your stop and stare scent. No one will, will have ever smelled anything like this before. Super sweet, super smoky, but it's just got a combination of notes that I've never smelled together before. So yeah, people will be very intrigued by this one. And last but not least, we have Jubilation 25. Jubilation smells rich, like a person with all their ducks in a row. Like, if you were at an event, 
The person wearing this would be the guest of honour. It's that type of scent. It's so, so, so good. So yes, that was my quick fire overview of the House of Amouage. I hope you've enjoyed it. I enjoyed going through them. Um, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.